Let's go to page 127 and start with number 2. I'm going to rewrite the equation so that x comes first. So you got x squared over 9 plus y squared over 25 equal to 1. So first you want to get a center. The center is going to be, now there's no parentheses, so you're going to get 0, 0. Okay. And the biggest number is always the a squared. So a squared equal to 25. So a equal to, um, a equal to 5. And b squared equal to 9. So b equal to, uh, b equal to 3. Okay, you also need to find the C. Now, this is a capital C for center. Now, small c, you have to use Pythagorean theorem, but for this one, the A is your biggest number. Okay, so I'm going to do it over here. So A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. Okay, so this is a small c. And so you got 25 equal to 9 plus C squared. Again, if you know your Pythagorean theorem, you should know that the, 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 it's going to be a 3, 4, 5 uh, spatial triangle, right? Okay, so you got 16 equal to C squared, so C equal to 4. Okay, okay so once you got all this information, then you can go and start to sketch things out. Okay, so first the center is at 0, 0. So that's a C at 0, 0. I'm going to use all the capital letters to you know, name all the points. Okay, and then, so you just follow what is under the letter. So this one is going in the x direction. So x direction would be 3, right? Again, you take the square root. So 3 in the x direction. So this is the capital B because this is the smaller axis, okay? And then the 25 go in the right direction, so you take the 5. And this is the V. Now make sure you don't get confused between the capital B and the small b, okay? So this is the length and this is the point. Okay, and this is the point. This is the name of the point, and this is the length. Okay. Okay. So you're going to get three comma zero, and this would be negative three comma zero, and this would be zero comma five, and this would be zero comma negative five. Okay. And so your ellipse is going to. So you sketch it out. And next, you're going to apply this to find the focus. So C is equal to 4, and it's always go in a long direction, okay, along the long direction. So, you go. so C is 4. So again, everything all start from the center. Okay, so this is the F. So it would be 0, 4. And this one would be 0, negative 4. Okay, then let's go through the list to get every point. Okay, so it's from the coordinate of the four sides, so that's the F, okay, so got that. The ends of the major axis, so that's the V. And the ends of the minor axis, so that's the B, okay, so got that. And the ends of each light has right, right them. Okay, so you need to get the E. Okay, so these points are E. Now to get this length, you have to get the b square over a. So this length is b square over a. So b square over a is going to equal to 9 over 5. Okay, so this point, so you, you kind of have to trace along. So this point is 0, 4. So when you go this direction, okay, when you go this direction, you have to add onto the x. So the y stay the same. So add onto the x. So this would be 9 over 5, 4. And this would be negative 9 over 5, 4. Okay. And same thing over here. Again, you start with 
the, the, the coordinate for f. So when you go sideways, that's the x, so you will change the x. So the y will stay the same. Okay, so it'll be 9 over 5, comma, negative 4. And when you go negative, you have to minus, so 0 minus the, the distance. So this would be negative 9 over 5, comma, 4. And that's, that's everything. Double check and sketch the curve. So that's it for number 2. Okay, let's go to number four. We have x squared over four plus y squared over nine equal to one. Again, I'm writing the x first. Okay, I'm more used to doing that way. So center is a zero zero. And then you have the the a squared equal to nine. Again, biggest number is always the a. So a equal to three, and b squared is equal to four. So b equal to two. And then you have to use a Pythagorean theorem. So a squared equal to b squared plus c squared. So you have nine equal to four plus c squared. So c squared equal to five. Okay. So c equal to square root of five. Okay. Or it's about 2.2. .2. Okay. So when you label, you have to use a square root to label. Okay. But when you try to try to uh, plot the point, you use the decimal to locate the point. Okay. So again, you got everything you need. So let's go ahead and sketch these things out. Okay. So you got zero zero. So that's the center. And you're going to go 2 in the x direction. And you're going to go 2 in the x direction. And you're going to go 3 in the y direction. Okay, and the long way is the v. Okay. And the short axis is the B. Okay, okay go and sketch out. Okay, notice when I sketch, I kind of start with at the point, right? So that will give you a better graph. So that's the graph. Now we have to look for the other stuff. Okay, so let's label this. So this would be 0, 3, and this would be 0, comma, negative 3, and this point would be 2, comma, 0, and this point would be negative 2, comma, 0. Okay, and the C is going to be 2.2, .2, so it's about 2.2, .2, so it's right over here. Okay, so that's the F. Okay, so now notice it's going up by square root of 5. So again, everything starts from the center. So when you go up, so that's your that's the C distance, right? So when you go up, you add. Okay, so and this is y direction, so x stay the same. And the y, when you go up, you add square root of 5 onto this. So this will be a square root of 5. Okay, and when you go down, you subtract. So you can everything start from here and you go down and you trace. And now to find E. So here's the E, here's the E, so there are four E points, okay. So you have to get the B squared over A, so B squared over A is going to be equal to 4 over 3, okay. So start from here, again, start from here, again, you have to follow the path. The, the path, right? So from here, that's the 0 square root of 5. So when you go this way, that's the x direction. So you have to add onto the x, okay? So when you add this onto the x, you're going to get 4 over 3, and the y stay the same. Now when you go this way, you have to subtract. So it would be negative 4 over 3, comma, square root of 5. 
and do the same thing over here. You start at zero, negative square root of five. So when you go this way, you have to add onto the x. So this would be four over three, comma negative square root of five. When you go this way, you have to subtract, okay? Subtract from this. So you're gonna get negative four over three, negative square root of five. Okay, and that's that's everything. Okay, let's go to number six. Okay, got x squared over 16 plus y squared over 25 equal to 1. Okay, so you can center is going to be at 0, 0. Then a squared is equal to 25, so a equal to 5. B squared equal to 16, so B equal to 4. Again, apply your Pythagorean theorem. Okay, your C, so it's going to be a 3, 4, 5 spatial triangle, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And then from here, I can just go and, go and sketch out. So center is at 0, 0. And you're going to go 4 in the x direction. And you're going to go 5 in the y direction. Again, it's very easy to remember which, di which direction to go. This is under the y, so that's, that's how much you have to go in the y direction. Okay, so that's the v. This is the v. Again, the long, the long one is always the V. The short one is always the B. Okay, so go and make your ellipse. Okay, next you apply the C to get the, the focus. Again, this is always along the major axes. So you go one, two, three. So that's the F. So one, two, three. That's the F. Again, if you go up three, so you change the Y. When you go down, again, the Y will change. When you go up and down, the X stay the same. Okay, then next you need to go and get the, the E. Okay, to get E, you need to get this distance, and this distance is B squared over A. So B squared over A is going to be equal to 16 over 5. Okay. So again, you have to trace along. So from here, when you go sideways, you have to add on to the X. So you got 0, you plus that, you're going to get 16 over 5. When you go sideways, the Y stay the same. Now when you go this direction, you have to subtract. So 0 minus that will give you negative 16 over 5. Again, when you go sideways, the y stay the same. Okay. And do the same thing over here. Okay, so you start with 0, negative 3. So when you go sideways, you add on to the x. And y stay the same. When you go this way, you subtract. So you got negative 16 over 5. And the y stay the same. Again, when you go sideways, y stay the same. When you go up and down, the x stay the same. Okay, and that's all the information you need. Okay, let's go to number eight. You have x squared over four plus y squared over 25 equal to one. So center is gonna be at zero, zero. 
Okay, a squared equal to 25, so a equal to 5. b squared equal to 4, so b equal to 2. And then um, the a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. So 25 equal to uh, 4 plus c squared. So 21 equal to c squared. So c is equal to square root of 21. Okay. So this is about... Uh, okay, get, you can get your calculator. It's about four point, maybe about four point five. Okay, about four point six. Okay. So again, when you label, you have to use a square root. But when you try to locate a point, you can use that. Okay. okay so let's go and sketch these things out. Okay, so center is zero, zero. And you're gonna go five in the white direction. So that's the V. And you're gonna go two in the X direction. So you're gonna go two in the X direction. Remember to take your square root. So that's the B, that's the B. Okay. Then you have to use this information to get the F. So you have to go 4.6. So it's about right over here. So that's the F. And again, when you go up, the X stay the same. The Y, you have to add this onto the Y, so it would be square root of 21. And you go down. So when, when you start from here, zero, zero, so when you go down, the x stay the same, the y would be become negative. Okay. And here are your e points. So you get the b squared over a is equal to 4 over 5. Okay. And that is the distance from here to here. So again, when you so you start from here, that's your zero square root of twenty one. So when you go sideways, you add onto the x, and when you go sideways, the y stay the same. When you go this way, it would be negative four over five, and square root of twenty one. This one you do the same thing. Okay, you start with the f at the point f. So when you go sideways, you add onto the x. So it'd be four over five comma negative square root of twenty one. When you go this way, you have to subtract, so negative 4 over 5, comma, negative square root of 21. Okay, and so that's everything. Okay. Let's go to number 10. You have x squared plus 4y squared equal to 4. So what you need to do first is you need to go and make into standard form. So you need to divide everything by 4. So you got, y, uh, you got x squared over 4 plus y squared over 1 equal to 1. So from here, the center is going to be at 0, 0. And uh, a squared equal to 4. So a equal to 2 b squared equal to 1, so b equal to 1, and a squared equal to b squared plus c squared, so 4 equal to 1 plus c squared, so c squared equal to 3, so c equal to square root of 3, so it's about 1.7, okay? Okay, so let's go and sketch these things out. Okay, so 
zero zero, so the center is a zero zero, and you're gonna go two in the x direction. So this would be the V, and you have to go one in the Y right direction. So that's the B. Okay. So you can remember the long, the long major axes are the V, the minor axes are the Bs. label your point so v would be 2 comma 0 and this would be negative 2 comma 0 this would be 0 comma 1 and this would be 0 comma negative 1 okay now you have to get the, the uh, focus okay so the distance is about 1.7 so you go 1.7 it's going to be about right over here So that's the. So you, you can do you can do this like that, okay. So that's the, okay. So that's the F over here. Okay. So that is the square of three. So from here, when you go, so it's zero zero over here. So when you go this way, that's the X. So x will be increased by square root of three. The y stay the same. Okay, so you can everything start from here, and you have to trace along. So this will be negative square root of three comma uh, zero. Okay, now to find e. To find e, you need to get the b square over a. So b square is one over a is 2 so it's 1 half okay so again you have to start from here so when you go up that's the y direction so from so so you start from this point square root of 3 0 when you go up by this much so the y will change the x stay the same when you go down it will become minus okay and same thing over here when you go up you plus again that's the y direction so y will change, but the x stay the same. Okay, and over here, again, when you start from here, you go down, so y will change. The x stay the same. Okay, and so that's all the points. Okay, let's go to number 12. Yeah, 16x squared plus y squared equal to 16. Let's put in the standard form, so dividing by 16. You got x squared over 1 plus y squared over 16 equal to 1. So the center is going to be a 0, comma 0. And the a squared equal to 16, so a equal to 4. b squared equal to 1, so b equal to 1. And a squared equal to b squared plus c squared. So 16 equal to 1 plus c squared, 15 equal to c squared, so c equal to square of 15, okay, and you can figure out what that is, so about 3.9, so it's going to be very close to the, the vertex. Okay, so let's go and sketch it out. Okay, so center is at zero, zero. And you have to go four in the right direction. Okay, so that's the V. Okay, and then you have 
have to go one in the x direction so that's the b So the B will be at 1 comma 0 and this B will be at negative 1 comma 0. Now to find the focus, okay, you have to go up 3.9, so it's going to be about very close to the vertex. Okay, again, I'm just going to just approximate right over here. Okay, so the, the F would be 0, okay, and go up would be square root of 15, and this F right over here. Would be at 0 comma negative square root of 15. Now to get the E, you have to get the B square over A. So B square is 1 over A is 1 fourth. Okay? So from here, again, from the F, when you go sideways, you have to add onto the X. So it be 1 fourth square root of 15 when you go this way it is negative okay, same thing over here I can start with the F start from this point when you go sideways when you go this way you have to add onto the X so it will be 1 fourth comma negative square root of 15 and when you go this way, it's negative. So negative one fourth, negative square root of fifteen. Okay, and that's all the points. Okay, let's go to number fourteen. Okay, you have x minus three square over thirty six plus y minus two square over nine equal to one. So in this case, now there's a parenthesis now, so you have to be careful with this one. So the center is going to be at 3, 2, and the a squared is equal to 36, so a equal to 6, b squared equal to 9, so b equal to 3, and a squared equal to b squared plus c squared, so 36 equal to 9 plus c squared, so minus 9, minus 9, you get 27 equal to c squared. So C equal to square root of 27 or 3 square root of 3. Okay. It's a, so it's going to be about approximately 5.1. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to ready to, uh, to sketch. Okay, so center is a 3, 2. Okay, so here's your center is a 3, 2. Okay, I'm going to kind of draw a very light axis so easier for me to graph. Okay, make a very light. Okay, so from here, you're going to go 6 in the x direction. So this would be the V, and you're going to go three in the y direction. Again, everything starts from here. And this would be the B. Okay, I'm going to draw that to make sure that, that the axis is very clear. Okay, so that's the y-axis and this is the x-axis. Okay. Oh, uh, well, here. Okay. 
Okay, so go ahead and sketch your graph. Sketch your ellipse. Okay, so you start to label the points, okay? So you can start from your center. So in the white direction, you have to go three, right? So this is the white direction, so you have to go three. So when you go up by three, the, the x stays the same, the y plus three will so give you five, right? Again, when you go up and down, the x stays the same, and the y will change by, you have to add or subtract by the b number, right? So you can get a square, so it will be minus one. And the vertex, is the, the x direction, so it's 6. So when you go this way, 3 plus 6 will give you 9. 3 minus 6 will give you negative 3. Okay? So those are your, so that's how you figure out the points. Next, you have to figure out the, the focus. So 5.1. Okay, so this would be the f. Again, when you, when you go this way, you change the x. So you start at 3, and you, you, you have to add 3 square root 3. Okay, and the y stay the same. When you go this way, the f, okay, so again, the, when you go this way, start with 3, comma 2. So when you go this way, you have to subtract. So it be 3 minus 3 square root 3, comma, and the, when you go sideways, the y stay the same. Okay, so again, you start with 3, when you go this way, you're minus. Okay. So now for the E, so you start from here, so uh, the B square over A, so B square is 9, over A is 6, so B square over A equal to 3 over 2. Okay. So you can start from here, so when you go up, you have to add the y. So x stay the same, so you add this onto the y, so it gives you 7 over 2, right? This is 4 over 2, plus that gives you 7 over 2. This one, you're going to get 3 plus 3 square root of 3, right? Again, when you go up and down, the, when you go up and down, x stay the same. Now this minus will give you 1 half. Okay. okay, now you do the same thing up here. So you got 3 minus 3 square root of 3, comma. So when you go up, you ask. And you can see they're the same. So it would be 7 over 2. And this one would be uh, 1 half. Okay. Okay, so, all the, so those are all your points. Okay, let's go to 16. Okay, so I'm going to write it differently. So the center is going to be at 6, comma, negative 3. And a squared equal to 36, so a equal to 6. b squared equal to 16, so b equal to 4. And a squared equal to b squared plus c squared. You got 36 equal to 16 plus c squared. So 20 equal to c squared. So c equal to 2 squared of 5. And so it's about 4.4. .4. Okay. Okay, so you got all the information. So let's go ahead and uh, sketch these things out. Okay, so 6, negative 3. Okay, so from here I'm going to make it very light. Okay, so you have to go 4 in the x direction. 
and that would be the B you have to go 6 in the white direction and this would be the V go and sketch it out Okay, go and label. So from here, when you go up six, you have to add six onto here. So this would be a six comma three. And when you when you subtract six, we give you six comma negative nine. All right, again, you have to follow along the path. And when you go this way by four, oh, I think I missed. Okay, um, by four. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. It's right. Okay. So when you go when you go this way, you have to add onto. So you add onto the x. So it'd be ten comma negative three. When you go this way, you have to minus the four. So it give you two negative three. So again, you start with this number. When you go this way, you add onto the x. When you go this way, you subtract from the x. Okay. And then you have to find the c is about four point four. So that's the F. Okay, so again, that's the F. Okay, so now the F is, uh, the distance is 2 square root of 5. So when you go up, when you go up, the X stay the same, and the Y will change. So plus 2 square root of 5. Okay. And when you go this way, uh, oh, this one here. Okay, so when you go down, you have to subtract the y. So x stay the same. The y, you start with negative 3, and you go down, you have to subtract 2 square root of 5. Okay. okay, now to do the e, again, you start with the f, and you have to do the b squared over a. So b squared is 16, over a is 6. So b squared over a equal to 8 over 3. Okay, so we'll start from this number. When you go sideways, you have to add onto the x. So x will be changed. Okay? So 6 plus 8 over 3 uh, with 26 over 3, negative 3 plus 2 square root of 5. Okay? And this one, when you go this way, you have to subtract. Okay? So 6 minus that will give you 10 over 3. And then the, the, um, the y stay the same. Now over here, you do the same thing. Okay. So you start with this number. When you go this way, you have to add onto the x. So it will be 26 over 3, negative 3 minus 2 square root of 5. When you go this way, you have to subtract. Okay, you can start with this number. You have to use 6 minus the 8 over 3. We give you 10 over 3. And the y will stay the same. Okay. And that would be all the numbers.